What's up everybody, today's video I'm gonna talk about Photoshop actions and how they could really help you out if you have to edit multiple pictures or let's just say you find a editing technique in Photoshop and you want to apply it to another photo in the future, this is a really great way to create a custom action and just have it for the rest of your life. So for this action tutorial, I'm going to use um, some pictures from a time lapse of Cape Hatteras Lighthouse in the Milky Way. And I was shooting this with a wide angle lens, which created a lot of distortion for the lighthouse. You can see it's on a slant right here. So I'm going to create a custom action where I correct this lighthouse. And then I'm going to show you how to apply it to all your pictures. So you don't have to go and basically correct each picture individually. You could let um, a program like Adobe Bridge do it for you. So let's get into that. Now I already brought one of the photos into uh, Photoshop. And all you have to do is open up your actions window. Go to window. Oops, let me click on here. Window. Actions. Now here's my list of actions that I've acquired over the years. So yours might look a little different. It might not be as filled up with folders, but it's very simple to create your own action. All we gotta do is let's create a new folder and we'll just call this uh, time lapse. Now within this folder, we wanna create a new action. So right here, click this button. Uh, we'll call this new action Lighthouse Oops. Lighthouse Correction. And when you hit record, it's going to start recording everything that you do in Photoshop. So let's hit record. Now, since I want to correct this, I'm going to make a copy of the layer. I'm going to bring a guideline out. And I'm going to do edit, transform, distort, and I'm just going to pull this side over just to straighten it a little bit. And that looks pretty good right there. Now I'm going to flatten the image, file, save, just hit OK. And it's showing me all the steps I just did. All you gotta do is hit stop. And we just created an action. It's very simple. And now we can play this action to other pictures. But if you're doing, let's say a time lapse like this is, and you have 500 pictures, you don't wanna open up 500 pictures individually and have to hit play each time. So I'm gonna show you a faster way to apply this action to multiple images. So we could close this out. I'm just gonna minimize Photoshop. Now I'm gonna open up Bridge. And I already have the folder selected. Now the, the full time lapse is a lot more pictures. I just kinda grabbed a few just to, you know, not bog down the computer um, for this tutorial. So we can see here, if I click on this, this is the corrected one. And if I click on the next image, you can see this is the crooked. So let's just close this out. The first one's already fixed, so you don't wanna select that. We wanna select all the ones that are still crooked. Next, you wanna go to Tools, Photoshop Batch. Just hit yes, if you get that. Now in this dialog box, it might be on destination none. Make sure you select save and close. If you don't select that, it's gonna open up all the pictures and leave them open in Photoshop. So I want them to close when they're done performing the action. Now on this side where it says play, this is where all your actions are. So we're gonna go to time-lapse and here's my lighthouse correction. Now you have the option to save these pictures into their own separate folder. If you don't want to overwrite the override the uh, original images, um, it's a good thing to do that. But from this uh, particular tutorial, 
Um, and since I'm not really making any adjustments to the actual picture other than correcting the lighthouse, I'm gonna override those images. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now it's performing that action on all the images. And then I'll close it when it's done. Okay, we could quit Photoshop. And we don't need Adobe Bridge. If I go to check the pictures, here's my first one that I started with. And here's the last picture. You see the lighthouse is corrected. And now you can take your pictures and you know export them as a time lapse. Um, like I said, this doesn't have to be just for time lapse images. Let's say you find a particular editing method that you really enjoy using in Photoshop. Make an action and then you can run it on future pictures that you take. Uh, but this is just one example of how it could help you out when you're dealing with uh, a bulk of images that you have to adjust and fix. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Very quick and easy tutorial. Um, give it a whirl.